since you guys travel so much, uh -huh. I thought it might be fun to embroider your names on a towel. So these machines that you're using are sewing machines, so, but they can also embroider. So okay, what we're going to do the first thing is embroider. Okay. Now yeah, you can turn them on. And they connect to your, I see Wi-Fi, so they connect yeah, to your computer. Can be, oh. it can be connected to the Wi-Fi. And so that we can download our designs. We sell it. We probably have more designs in the house than any other store. We um, still have, we've been doing it for so long that we have um, all kinds of companies that we like to have, you know, embroidery designs for our people. Some of our people are not comfortable with computers, uh -huh. so we can help them. Um, create things without have to go on the computer and so forth. So you're ready to do that. Okay, the second button down is how you turn it to embroidery machine. Okay, and then just say okay there. Release this arm and make it embroidery for us. So what you need to do is touch the second button down here. Right there? Uh-huh. And we're going to open up this embroidery arm back here and twist it open. Okay, just say okay there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Touch oops, this X out on yours. And touch the middle button with the ABC. And touch the top one in the corner on the left, and it looks like two A's, kind of backwards. Mm -hmm. Those are different fonts. Oh, okay. So you can pick out which one you want to do with your name. It'll say keep your hands clear and just say okay again. And then it's telling us which hoop we should have and say okay again. Mine says lower the feed dog. Oh, okay. That's right here. You just pull this towards you. Okay. Now it's showing you which hoop you should have, so say okay there. Okay. And do you see where it says ABC in the center down there? Touch mm -hmm. that button. So you center it. Okay. Now you're ready to just kind of <coughs> take this hoop. And I'll pass it. Oops, got extra stuff. Mm -hmm. Pass this right underneath here. Like that. Okay. And it locks on. There's like a little lock here. And you just put them side by side and bring it over and lock it in place. And then you have a really hard job. Okay. You have to push start. Alright. Okay. about 200 designs built into the machine and so if you bring up something and you like it but you want it to be a different color the machine doesn't know color you can turn it with whatever you want mm -hmm. yeah. it's something that a sewing machine like this grows for years with a family i'm going to take this off this is your embroidery foot so you only use it when you're embroidering and we're going to put on a standard foot with a little skinny piece on it Get that off. Can I pull on one? Yeah, I think you did find it. There you go. Oh, there we go. And then this one's going to slide from the back to the front on there, and then you can just tighten that one back up now. Okay. We're just going to pin. This is, when I teach children, this is trickier than people think. It's just, it takes a coordination that people don't usually do unless they practice sewing. But we're going to pin them just a little bit, and you don't run over pins. So when we get to the pins, you have to stop and take them out. I'll put them in the back in your pin cushion here. Because you can break the pin. I mean, you can break the needle. Break the machine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. So what we're going to do <laughs> is, is start I unlocked here. it. Is okay. That's fine, yeah. Okay. Let's start right here. And we're going to go to um, 
this one and let's see okay let's see where we're at right now okay i'm going to take this pin out because we don't really it's holding in place so the first thing you want to do is hold this in and push your foot control can you find your foot control down there yeah. okay it's like driving a car and you push this button it's going to make it go backwards Push that in. Mm -hmm. And then you hold on down here so you can kind of guide it. You want it to stay straight. She's got to push the pedal, right? Mm. Okay. So now what you're going to do is, is go ahead and push it. Not, you don't need to push this anymore. Go ahead and push your foot control and watch what happens. Now I've got it going slow now. Okay. So you want to just keep it right next to this guide here. When you get about here, stop and take that pin out and go to the next one and so forth. When you get to the very end, stop and wait for me and I'll show you how to back stitch again. Okay. Okay. You can push those scissors right there, and that'll cut your thread, the top and the bottom, and it'll raise your needle up and your pencil foot up. So now you can just pull that piece of fabric out. Uh-oh. Okay, you get it? Yeah, you got it. There we go. Just use the edge of your presser foot, and we're going to take this pin out to start with, and then I'm going to push this button, and that's going to make the needle's presser foot stop up and down. Okay, so you're ready to push the reverse button right here. Okay, do I hold it or just push it? Yeah, you have to hold it in as long as you want to go backwards. And then press the little gas pedal mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. There you go, now let it go and you're going to come forward and then when you get close to that pin, just stop okay. and take the pin out. Okay. So just try to keep the edge of the fabric right next to the edge of the foot. Okay. Thank you. Did it help you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what you're going to do is go all the way around the square, every every side of it. So I'm going to start here. Okay. And again, use the edge of your presser foot. Yep, right here. And you're just going to go all the way around it. Okay. That way it won't shift at you when we're doing the other project. Okay. Are you going to show me how to turn it once I get there? Yep. Okay. Yep. When you get to the corner, we'll just have you stop. Okay. Do I have to go backwards again? No. Okay. Not on this one. No. Good. <laughs> okay. All right. Just keep going. Okay, stop. Okay. Now see when you turn it, it's gonna be oops. We got we did get just one stitch too much, so we're gonna raise it up and move it back over there and now you're right where you want to be. Okay. 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 Now you need to do the same thing to that one. Okay. You have two handles on your little bag. Okay. You just go ahead and start right here. <laughs> We're going to do this little one first, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. 
Good thing. Keep, keep going forward now. See, it's a lot longer than it needs to be, so that's okay. So we can pin it like this. You can kind of see a little bit better where you're going to be sewing. Basically, your needle is really close to this like little edge right here. Uh -huh. And so you're kind of just watching that that's kind of following straight through there. Okay. Okay? All right. Okay, stop for a second. Let's see if we can... You get some wrinkles here. Yeah. Okay. So you're okay now. Just okay. go ahead. Oh boy. We'll take these out and we'll just let it do flat. Okay. Okay. Got it. Dink. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh god, that's scary. Stay right so your edge is right there at the neck, at, at your ear. Okay, go ahead and cut your thread off. Do I stop where the other one is? Yeah, whenever you match up, you can stop them. Okay, These are not very good, it is. <laughs> scary. <Too fun>. <laughs> scary. <laughs> Okay. So, okay. but back stitch a little. Uh huh. Go out to the edge of the fabric. Okay, let's see if we can get it to match the way we want. Yay! Did a good job. Okay. girls tell everybody sewing is fun when this is over. Huh? <laughs> say, I was so nervous I had to go drink a bottle of wine. <laughs> it's, a thing. it's like bunched Not going up. anywhere? It's bunched up. Okay. Just 
cooking those little corners out. Oh, look at you go. You're getting fast. Hey. Sometimes it's easier to go a little speedier. They're going to be in time for supper. <laughs> Now you've got it unzipped, so just turn it pretty side out again. Okay. Kind of be careful not to pull on this if we're too hard. Okay. And there's a little wooden skewer there next to you if you want to poke it out in the corners. You go all the way off because mm -hmm. I'm going to double. Yep, and you're going to back stitch in. proud. <gasps> oh, look at that. Ta -da. I made this. That's beautiful. I mean, I didn't do it by myself. I get help. Wow. And this is the little thing that she turned inside out? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cute. So now you, we, you have a, we got a towel and I get a little beard. So cute. I'm going to have to buy you a I can sew with this. I'm kind of thinking. I like it. So kind of like a cute little, if you put a wine bottle in there, then you can take a pretty bow and tie it around it or whatever. I made that! You made that! It's not perfect, but I made it's it! so cute! Oh you guys my both gosh. did really good for never sewing before. Oh my god! It was actually a lot of fun. I'm good. surprised. It's not as intimidating as people think sometimes. Um, it's mm -hmm. kind of fun to see them try, you know. <gasps> oh my god! As soon as we get back to the B&B, she's going to call my dad and show him this. <laughs> yep. I am. Yep. So that's something you can, you know, give a gift in or, or fill it with food, goodies, oh, popcorn, you, go. you know, some of those bags of popcorn and oh a pop or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thank you You're so welcome. much. You're welcome. I'm glad you came. Oh, you further, 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 further. No, I'm not for anything. Are you sure? Yep. yep. Thank it's you. It's been fun having you here.